Hello, I'm Mariette DeCristina, Editor-in-Chief of Scientific American, and these are my daughters Mallory Hi. and Selena. Hi. In this episode, we're going to make something called oobleck. It's not quite a liquid and not quite a solid. In fact, it acts like both. And as you'll see, oobleck is a lot of fun to play with. To make your own, you'll need the following. A cup of water, one or two cups of cornstarch, and a mixing bowl. And if you want your oobleck to be hot pink or neon green, you'll need a few drops of food coloring. OK, so let's get started. First, we'll pour our water into our mixing bowl. Then, we'll add one cup of cornstarch. Mallory, if you would. Next, we're going to mix the two together. Selena. Now, we'll keep adding cornstarch until the mixture becomes thick. Okay, at this point, we basically have a big bowl of goo. How does that feel, Selena? It's really hard to stir. Looks really kind of plaster. <laughs> it is like plaster. It's gross. Finally, we'll add some food coloring to make our oobleck a little bit more colorful. Okay, Selena is stirring in the dye. It looks all swirly. The spoon is bending. <laughs> not go. This is serious oobleck. <laughs> it really doesn't want to be colored. Now watch this. If you move slowly, you can push your hands straight into it. But if you push quickly, it feels solid. How does it feel, Selena? It's solid. You also see some strange things happen when you try to pick it up fast. compared with when you try to pick it up really slowly. Oobleck behaves strangely because it isn't a normal liquid. It's something called a non-Newtonian fluid. This means it reacts differently to pressure than liquid like water. Try making oobleck at home and let us know about any of the cool things you've figured out to do with it. For more activities to try, visit our website, scientificamerican.com forward slash bring science home.